Shalom Rastafari, Shabbat Shalom Wendemoch, I'm Senbet Salam, Hitoch. I only got a couple of minutes right here. This is like the part two right here, um, touching on um, this uh, Sadmeta TV video. And just to remind those who are checking out this part right here, you can check out this video right here. Um, Shaka Polite, Divine Prospect, uh, Gabar, Reggie. I should have also included Brother Iwasuf. I- I was so, um, Joseph or Joseph, I was so, but getting ready for the February 8th, um, this February 8th, um, um, Kemet on trial, the, I guess the whole tap, you know, the whole tap, uh, niggas or the whole tap, the Egyptologist, you know, that crew right there, the conscious, whatever, who are in Egypt, who think like it's all about Egypt crew, you know, versus the Hebrew and the Hebrew Israelites in this particular camp of Hebrew Israelites, the GOCC, the Gathering of Christ Church. And I think the two main brothers that's going to represent, um, the Hebrew Israelites in this particular debate are Gabar and Iwasuf, um, along with, um, I think Divine Prospect, too. I think that's the other brother right there as well. So we was watching this particular video, and it's an interesting video so forth and so on. I'm not going to regurgitate what we said in the part one, but in this part, we want to like lean a little more into um, Shaka Amos, right, and his allegation that was not checked, that was not checked even in the pre-debate debate. You know, maybe it was, but he, they let him talk for a long time, this, and they, and he even asked them, like, Christ was resur- Christ ra- ascended to heaven the third day, and it's like they kind of said yes, they didn't say no. That's why I asked the question in the first vid, in the first part of the vid, um, and I'll ask the question here in this, um, follow up, did Christ, according to the Bible, and according to whatever version or narrative that you are reading, did Christ, or have read, did Christ ascend into heaven on the third day? All right? And I want you to think about it. Maybe pause the video. Come and go on and speak in the amount of time I have right here. Right? But pause it. If, you, if, if the answer, if you can't say yes or no, then pause the video. If it's like, I, I think so, then pause the video for a moment. And maybe go and check out, you know, what is really you know, what has really been said, right, in the scripture. Because what um, Shaka Amos does, and I think he probably has this in his book, I might even, I don't know how much the book is, but, you know, it might be interesting to get a copy of it because a lot of people really think like, oh, his book is something. Other people think like, oh, his book is nothing. And if the quote that he gave from the book is to show that it is something, then I have to really say that it is nothing because he tries to make the allegation or the assertion, right? And he does make this, right? That um the Bible has been plagiarized and he tries to use the story of the crucifixion, the narrative of the crucifixion to say that um according to certain um, um pyramid texts and other writings he quotes in his book that Horace... Right, that Horus, the one they call Horus, Haru, right? Really, Ethiopic is the is a root, you know. But they don't want to go there just yet. I understand. But anyway, Horus, Horus ascended to heaven on the third day. Mm-hmm. Now, if your documents say that Horus ascended to heaven on the third day, and you can prove it, okay, great. But now, when you want to turn around, right, um, and confront. You know, the truth that, well, this is the very same thing from the Bible. This is this was taken from the Bible. And he got all emotional about it and was like, really, like, let me talk. Let me talk. No, 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 no. Couldn't even get the mic back from from uh, Sonetta, you know, who's running the show. Well, well, we can ask who's running the show. That's another video right there. But. Let me answer the question. I'll ask it one more, ask it one more time. Did Christ, Jesus, Yeshua, HaMoshiach, right? Did he ascend to heaven on the third day? I answer. You ready? No, he did not. People are like, you must be an antichrist. You, he ascended on the third day. No, he didn't. Prove it. 
Now, if you go by what Shaka Amos writes, Shaka Zulu, right, writes in his book, right, he writes in his book, what he does is he quotes two different verses, and and, and we had to actually follow up on this, right? At, at first, we were just listening, watching it, it was entertaining, and a couple points came up, and different ones showing their personalities and everything, but he alleges that Christ ascended into heaven, right? So what Shaka Amos does... Right. He has a he has a false, right, a false positive. It's positive for him that this happened because he must have looked through the Bible or, you know, did his search and writing his book. And he found third day. So he found third day at Luke 24, 46. Right. Luke 24, 46. He finds third day. So he takes Luke 24 and 46 and find third day. Should we go to Luke 24, 46? I think we need to go to Luke 24, 46 so that we can rebuke, you know, these liars, slanderers, and people who really can't read talking about all this, you know, source and reference. His reference, he would say, is the Bible, right? It's a whole heap of emotionalism, the Bible, right? Um, and that seems to be a game, too, on a certain level right there, because if you just pay attention, right, it says right here in Luke, um, in Luke, uh, Luke, uh, 24, 46, it says, and said to them, thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to raise from the dead the third day. Notice that right there. It says to raise from the what? To raise from the dead the third day. That's what it says. It says to raise from the dead. Does it say he raised into heaven? He ascended into heaven the third day? No, it doesn't. Now, he says that because it says that he raised from the dead, he even goes to the point that Horace suffered. You know, didn't Christ suffer? Horace suffered. I suffer. I suffer watching you make, you know, go through all these antics, man. I suffer that too. We all suffer. My mama suffer. Your mama suffer in labor. You understand? Oh, because Horace suffer and Christ suffer. Therefore, they plagiarize it. Nigga, please. You understand? Read. It says that to raise, it says it behooved Christ, who is the Moshiach, to suffer and to rise or raise, really rise from the dead the third day. So he took that part, and I don't, I haven't read the book. I wonder how he did it in the book. You know, like sometimes people quote something, right? And they be the dot, 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 dot. And then he quote something else and put dot, 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 dot. You know, and then you'd be like, wow, this is from the Bible and that's from the Bible. And sometimes even if you read it, right, you almost like blind and they pull the wool over your eyes, right? Or the side lock over your eyes and you really don't see it. You'd be thinking like, oh, wow, it must be true because you recall, it's like magic. It's, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like hocus pocus in a sense, right? Because somehow you're being bewitched, not really getting it. And I don't know if these brothers were, I'm not going to say bewitched, but it's like they sat down there and was like, yeah, they allowed that false point to get under the radar and didn't rebuke it, didn't crush the head of the Apophis right there. Just stomp the head of the Apophis, that lie that has come out. And one's like Shaka Amos, because nobody's reproving him on it, right? They're talking about whether he's a homosexual or he's effeminate or this or that, or his side lock look funny or like this or like that. And they're not even defending, right, what you should be defending, the word. Check him on that, right? And and and, and I'm watching this and I'm saying, oh, wow. You know, because when he said he, he raised from the dead on the third day, I knew that was true. But then when he's saying he ascended on the third day, I'm saying, wait, raising from the dead, what did he raise? So he raised to the earth, right? Isn't that why we were seen in the garden by Mary Magdalene? He was seen in the garden. And it's so interesting what he says in the garden. Right. When Mary goes there, you remember the, the narrative and she says, um, you know, um, like, you know, where have they taken my Lord? I don't know where they've taken my Lord. I'm paraphrasing right here. I'm going to get the scripture. So ones won't say, oh, he's saying the wrong thing. Let's get the scripture right here. And it says right here. Right. It says right here. Um, um, it says, uh, it says, uh, Jesus, Yeshua, this is 20, John 20 and 15. Yeshua said to her, woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? 
She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir Adoni, if thou have borne him hence, like carried him from here, um, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. And Yeshua said to her, Mary, and she turned herself and said to him, Rabboni, Rabboni, I and I master, I and I teacher, which is to say master, really literally is to say our master, Rabboni, Rabboni, right? Um, verse 17, Yeshua said to her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Our Father who art in heaven, right? But He was ascended from death. He, he raised from the dead, not to heaven. So we have we have two different. It's like you're going on a journey and you're making certain stops. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you stop off. Hey, have you reached your destination? No, but you're on that way. This is what He is saying to Mariam Magdalowit. Right, so he says to her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I ascend to my father and your father and to my God, Elohe, and your God, Eloheka or Elohekim, right, if, if, if it's plural in that sense, right? Now, this is what happened, right? This is what happened, right? But now, what's happening, if the debate goes anything like this, uh, you know, the Hebrews might lose, and we might not lose by virtue of not having the facts, but, you know, allowing a lot of these things to go under the radar. And in the pre-debate show, these things go under the radar. You understand, like this, where Shaka Amos, right, can make a false Horus Christ kind of um comparison i mean i mean there's other comparisons that could be made that you can assume okay that is a little more um persuasive if not um if not convincing if if if, if not you know it may be a little more um convincing if not persuasive even you know what i mean but what he says right here is only um uh, persuasive because ones are not doing their job they're not on point i mean don't they know that to ascend from the dead, where did he ascend to the earth? He's in the garden, the garden of, he's in the garden, right? You know, so he's, he's ascended from the dead, from death. He's asc- he raised from dead, right? And unless you're saying that the earth is heaven, then you are wrong, 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 wrong. I mean, that's a real slick, woolly thing to do. And I don't think that Shaka really did this. Uh, I don't really think, in t- I don't know if he really knew all that he didn't send it. No, I think he's following these Europeans, you know, like these European Egyptologists, you know, a lot of whole tech niggas are doing that, that, you know, and are not really going to the real roots of it. Cause we go to the roots of it. And once again, I'll say once again, Ethiopia, Obia, right, is the root, right, for both the Hebrew, Right. As well as for the so-called Kemite truth. In fact, Kemet, really, why do they say Kemet? It should be Kemta. It should be Kemta, Kamta. That shows they don't even understand the Metu Net uh, as they say they do, because how can they? Because it's like the mother trying, the mother's being told how to give birth by the daughter. Can you imagine a daughter telling the mother how to give birth? That's the whole Egypt thing. And Egypt was brought down because of this arrogance and pride, right? The very same thing. Now, many of us as Hebrews, Right, um, are forgetting what Yahweh says, you know, not to abhor the Egyptian because we were what? We were strangers and sojourners in his land and, and not the Edomite either. Don't abhor the Edomite because he's your brother. And many of the black Hebrews and Hebrews Israelites in their zeal, right, to work out their own righteousness have not received the very righteousness that many of them say they proclaim. You know, I mean, so forth and so on. And if y'all could let this one get under the radar like that, you know, this is why I'm doing this vid right here, you know, and not even going into it as I would like to go into it, but like saying, wake, wake the, you know, wake the blessed up, you know? So it was after 40 days, right? After 40 days, right? After 40 days, because what he did is, is take the verse from Luke 2446 that we read to you a little bit earlier 
and then he cut and pasted it. Shaka Amos's cut and paste, his cut and paste Egyptology. You know, he cut and paste with Acts of the Apostles, chapter one, right? Chapter one, verse, verse, uh, verse, um, is it verse 11? Verse 11, right? Where, um, or we could we even say from verse nine, right? Where it says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel.